So this is part 2 of how I made this scene and in this uh, part I will show you how to export your metahuman from Unreal to Blender without any add-ons or anything. This method is completely free and this is the most versatile method you can ever have in order to export your metahumans from Unreal to Blender. I want to show you uh, another way, I would say that's the best way to export. So this is the add-on. Um, this is I would say the best add-on you can have for your metahuman if you want to use your metahuman in Blender. You will get all sort of controls, the proper things and everything. Uh, the only problem is this is a paid add-on so you have to buy this thing. Uh, you can see the pricing there and this is quite a bit costly I would say but this is one time I think. So if you have money then definitely go for this one. This is the best method you can ever have. So this is the paid one uh, but I will show you the uh, free one also. So this is Unreal. You can see the meta human there. So before starting anything if you are new to Unreal and if you want to use meta human you have to enable few plugins. Just go to the plugin option and then in this one you have to search for meta human and you just have to enable everything. So after enabling all the plugins and everything, you just have to go to your content browser and right click, go to the meta human thing, create a meta human creator and then where is that? Meta human creator, rename your meta human creator and that's it. So you will get something like this. I will just remove this one because I already have, so this is not this one, I think this one. Okay, so you can see there, by default you will not gonna get this character. To get this character you just go to the presets and you can choose any character if you want to change the clothing of this thing uh, i'm doing my clothing in another software so i don't need this clothing so in order to remove this just go to the here and cloth check section go down uh, and then you have to just double click so it will remove the cloth but for now i will just leave it like this you can remove the eyebrows and everything by default it will not gonna export anything like the eyebrows the hairs and this type of things it will only export the body clothes and everything except your hairs and eyelashes and uh, this is not a blender issue uh, it will not gonna export uh, in any other software also if you also use the the maya one and the houdini one also it will not gonna export the hairs you have to recreate the hairs from scratch and it's not a big deal you can do that thing with the help of particle system in blender so for the character mesh if you go to the assemble option you will see that uh, you cannot assemble this so the reason why you have to first go to the download texture download 2k texture or whatever you want to use for mid to low end pc use 2k you don't have to download for 8k textures you can try but i'm not recommending so just download 2k then click on this create full rig option and then you will get this assemble option there so if i just open my uh, meta human you will see the assemble option okay so this is the meta human that i use in the main animation you cannot use your dcc export because it will export a dot dna format and the problem with that is it is not natively supported by blender and that's why you have to use the plugin that i showed you earlier uh, i think this one this plugin that i show you earlier so this plugin will allow you to export the dot dna format in blender but the thing is this is paid one you cannot use that right now so instead of using the dcc just use optimized and high if you if you have a good pc then you can just uh, go to the cine one this one means the unreal cinematic one this will give you the most high quality results uh, but if you have a mid-range pc or graphic card then uh, just go with the high settings optimized and high it will be almost similar you will get some sort of difference in the close-up shots maybe and nothing uh, more select your directory and then assemble it will assemble everything and you're good to go so this is done now when you export your thing you will get so just go to your folder you will get a bp bp uh, your name of the character if you double click and open this you will see something like this just click on the body option go to this button click on this then minimize your window you will uh, redirect it to your skeletal mesh right click uh you have to go to the where is the asset action export select your folder go to the dot usd format this is the important one you have to make this thing zero we don't need any kind of lod's material option enable this thing or you will not gonna get your material set your resolution i will use 2048 okay sorry 2048 copy this paste it here and then you don't have to change anything maybe no you don't have to change anything just click on export and it will export everything 
so similarly you have to export your face thing just click on the face one or you can and then go to the right click asset action export uh, select your folder uh, USDC option save and just change the settings that I already show you then export so when you export this thing you have to go and open your blender I will just remove everything go to your folder where you export your things you will get this type of uh, files dot uh, usd one you will get two files the head one and one is for the body one so you have to just drag drop your files there make sure go to the material section import all material textures is everything is good uh, and then import when you import this uh, you will see something like this I will just remove the unnecessary materials oh sorry we don't need this yeah we just need the meta human and this is the meta human with proper rigs and everything uh, and now you will think there is no texture there is you just have to go to the viewport shading and you will get all your beautiful textures of meta human like this and one problem you will see that we have the eye issue so just go to the edit mode like this select one geometry press l it will select your thing go to your material section and most probably you have to find your material there so instead of doing this you can just see this is black this is black it means most probably this will be will be the eyes here you can see so this is the eye one i will just rename this thing so, so that i can find this thing properly so in the eye section we have to reassign the material just go to the shader editor and then click ctrl shift t and then go to your directory your main texture folders so you will get the uh, folders in your textures in the asset thing and just go to the textures and you will get all your textures there just control your directory control c this thing go to this one control v paste select everything and then principal texture bsdf and most probably you will get your eye you can see there we have the eyes you will see some sort of whitish problem you just have to go to the emission shader where is that this one and you have to just disconnect this and you will get your eyes properly so this is the best way to export your meta human meta humans with all your textures and everything within unreal uh, within blender i will just go to the cycles gpu 32 and then we can just see this all the textures and everything are proper so that's it for this video in the next part i will show you how to export the animation the facial animations all kind of animation you can completely export those things also from unreal to blender and yeah that's it for this video so if you have any doubt or anything like that let me know in the comment i will try to help you if i know the solution and yeah that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching